Hi, this is Aaron with Northwest Rep Wrap, and I just wanted to uh, record a quick video on how to clean up the extruder body for a Greg's extruder, which is a variant of the Wade's extruder. Uh, the first thing you want to do is you want to remove this little uh, rectangular piece here. This is just support material for the print. So you can just pull that off and then clean up some of the plastic uh, right around the guidler uh, mount and you can use maybe like a um, an allen key to push through that hole there to get the plastic pulled up and then you can grab it with some pliers just sort of clean it off doesn't have to be perfect that's pretty good and then um, also you'll need to clean out these three holes here for the motor mount Notice that they're covered in plastic, and again, that is created for support material so that it's capable of printing a smaller hole above the larger hole. So you could just take um, something like an Allen key, just push it through, maybe a larger Allen key would work better. You could also use a uh, drill bit too for this, and a drill, which actually makes it a lot easier. But I wanted to show you this method just in case you don't have a power drill or a hand drill. So once I pushed, pushed it all through, you can see um, through these holes now. Now I can flip it over and just pull any plastic that's still remaining off with some pliers. That looks pretty good. And then the last hole is where the Greg's extruder goes through, right here. Or, I mean, I'm sorry, the uh, hob bolt goes through the center hole here. So I'm just going to push that through. Kind of be gentle here. You don't want to break it because it's kind of thin right here. Once you push it through, just grab some of the plastic off from the other side. Make sure it's round. There we go. That looks good. Okay. So, one little more piece of plastic here. And this can come off too. It's just a little bit of plastic right there. And then sometimes in the tops here where the nets go, for the uh, idler's bolts. There's a little bit of plastic in there. Just want to make sure that it just gets pushed down. Usually there's not very much in there. You want to be able to slide those nuts in there just fine. That looks pretty good though. Okay. And then just check the, um, the hole in the center here. This is where the filament pushes through. You just want to make sure that that's cleared out. Usually it is. I very rarely see that dirty or anything. But it looks fine. Okay, so that's it. You have the, um, the rectangular piece that you pull off here where the guide layer is attached and then just clean out that hole so you can get the bolt through. Clean out the hole for the hob bolt in the center here and clean out the holes for the motor mount. And that should take care of it. And um, um, yeah, that should be it. That should be all you need to know. That's how you clean the extruder body. Thanks for watching.